we've selected our theme, we're ready to customize it. So I'm just going to view our site so we can see where we're starting. So this is basically just our blank theme and it's a blank canvas for us to work. So let's hop back over to our main WordPress. And on my dashboard menu, under appearance, I'm going to choose customize. Now remember, each theme has different elements to customize. And so if yours looks a little bit different than mine, that's the reason why. But you can always go back and check your documentation to find out how to customize things. Let's double check where that is first. So I'm going to close this out. And you can see up at the top of my page, there's my current theme. And then there's that documentation. So I can click that info and figure out how to make things work. Keep in mind, you can always change themes. So if you're not able to customize something the way you like, you can change themes and not lose your content, but you may need to rearrange things. So let's just zip through what we can add here. So I'm going to start by saying that this is my portfolio. If I want to, I can add a tagline. This is like a little subhead, might go into some of your identity content. Now, as far as logos go, I am not a fan of using Fiverr to create a logo. And at this stage of the game, I wouldn't really worry about that type of personal branding yet. So just stick with getting your name on there for your site identity. There will be time down the road to create your personal brand. So I'm going to go ahead and save changes and hit this back button. Now colors and backgrounds. Some themes will allow you to change colors. If they do, please use one of the provided color palettes. Those make sure that you are being web accessible, have a strong contrast ratio. If you change them on your own, you might make your website difficult to view. So I'll go ahead and change it to that red color and I'll save the changes. Go back again. We're going to cover menus in the next video, so I'm just going to hop over that. Go to content options. So sometimes you can create a featured image that you show on all pages. Again, it depends on your theme. I don't want that option, so I'm not going to check that. My next category is widgets. So widgets are kind of think of them as sidebars and you want to read where your widgets appear. So my widgets appear in my footer. So that means at the very bottom of every single page. This is a great time to add some of the requirements you have for your portfolio. So we'll add a search widget. And you can see it's added that search widget. And I can add a contact me link. So what would that be? Hmm, contact, I don't need a map. So what I'm going to do is a text widget. And my title is going to be contact me. And I'm going to have my email in here. And if I wanted to add a title on my search bar, I can do that as well. So you can see there's my contact me, there's my search bar, both at the bottom. So I'm going to save changes. Now you might have widgets that appear as sidebars on the right or the left. If you have a choice, it's best to have those on the right of your page. That way they're kind of off to the side, not in the way of content. Finally, we're going to customize our home page settings. So one of the things we want to make sure is that our home page 
is a static page. That means no matter what we add to our website, our homepage never changes. If you're changing things and it's showing up on your homepage, chances are you have this selected. So we'll just make sure we have static page and that's our home page. These last two options, I don't need to worry about those because those are if I've purchased up from Pro or if I'm running a business site. So that gives us our basic customizations. In our next video, we're going to look at menus.